Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. I'm laughing a little bit because I'm sitting over at our little main base here. And we are completely out of coal. I came over here and I robbed our storage units of some coke early on to keep our steel or iron production running over here. And apparently it could not keep up and we ran out. So let me see if I can steal some back. Otherwise, I got to go over to our other coke producing facility. Yeah, we've got some here. Let me just uh, grab a few of these and get this going over here again. And then hopefully it will be able to keep up. But it's this one little spot that we don't have auto fed down here. Again, this was meant to be temporary. It's lasting uh, quite a bit longer <laughs> than I originally intended. So let's see, is this guy being fed or not? How do we do? Oh, no, wait, that's not even it. How is that furnace being fed? What the heck is going on here? I'm not feeding that thing by hand, am I? Uh, that's really strange. We'll have to come back and deal with that. Anyway, this should generate a bunch more. That solved the problem for about 15 minutes, but we're going to have to come back and deal with this a little bit better and basically just route some of this Coke back into here. Let's see what that does. Generate some water. It doesn't, uh, this guy actually doesn't use that much fuel, but let's see if we can get the Coke production going back here. Anyway, I just want to show you that. So, boy, between episodes, I did a ton of thinking, and I want to share some of those thoughts with you. So at the top, we're going to do a little bit of discussing uh, to think about a path forward. So the first thing I was thinking about is I want to expand our factory that's going to be producing steel products kind of out this way, straight out to the east. We were kind of oriented right now to head towards the north, but we've got, I think that's uranium here. I don't want to kind of crowd that out. Then, okay, so we'll need to reconfigure this a little bit. Like this stuff right here needs to be moved to kind of go out this way. Because that is east, I believe. You can see on the map, that's the way we're pointing. That's the way I want the factory to extend. Now, and then all this platform here, if we look on the map, this is all sitting on top of the iron deposit. So I'm imagining that we're going to fill this area out with uh, mining drills over time. Right. Next thought. I started thinking about, well, how, how big do we want to scale the iron product production? We know we're going to make plates. And, you know, that's the first, that's the base ingredient for the iron production line. At least that's what I was thinking earlier was, you know, you can't do much with the iron ingots. You got to pound them into plates and that's where everything starts with iron. Well, not quite. I started thinking about a couple things. One was, remember when we were talking about the copper and I said, I think this was last episode, and I said, boy, you know, a lot of the stuff here in the copper tier, we're not going to need going forward because there's new parts, right? Like we don't need cutting machines made out of copper because we've got the steel ones. And then we're going to not need those very long. We need the level three stainless steel ones. And, but I said, we're still going to need heat pipes and we're going to need cables and stuff. So I started thinking about for steel, what products are we going to need long term? Let's just you know, set out to automate production lines for those things that we're going to need long-term and not worry about, you know, trying to build out production lines for products that are going to get replaced later on by the upgraded, the upgraded version, like the stainless steel version. So for most of the products in each of these tiers, a lot of them are machines and we're probably not going to do a lot of automating of machines. Like we're not going to automate a bunch of Sterling engines because, well, maybe we have one line of them or something, but you know, when we get to the next tier, we're going to want the next tier ones. So we may end up doing a lot of handcrafting of this kind of stuff. And just, um, when it comes to the machines. So then I started thinking, well, what are we working towards in the game? You know, what is the end goal of the game? What should we be pursuing? Um, 
one aspect of the game is obviously it'd be, you know, you want to try to get the solar power. You want to try the pump jack and the oil power and all that. And you want to try, you know, using all the different materials in the game and moving up through the tiers. So that's definitely one thing we'll do. But the other big thing, the other big goal, especially in this game, is the research tree, right? So then I started thinking, well, what are the materials that we need to move up this research tree. This is really, this represents really the consumables in the game. There are these calculations. That's what's actually being consumed. That's what we're producing that's being consumed. Now, the other main consumable is the uh, any materials that we use for energy production. So the Coke factory that we're working on now, that Coke production facility, you know, finding a way to produce Coke, that's a material we need to generate thousands and thousands and thousands of because we're consuming them. And the other one, the other one is these calculations, right? All these calculations. So right now we've been zooming through the research tree and it doesn't feel like it's that much. We have two computers doing basic computations and we have one doing advanced computations and we kind of have a simple, um, circuit line that's producing circuits so we can do the advanced computations. And we've only got one computer doing those and we've been moving pretty quick. In fact, we need to pick another research right now. We can do that while I'm chatting. Let's uh, do, uh, let's do cutting two. How about that? Or assembler two. Let's do that one. Get that going while I'm babbling here. So yeah, it's all been going pretty fast and it's easy to forget that this is a big part of the game. It just, you know, it's been kind of, we don't even have to think about it. Now we do have, when we get the stainless steel production, we start getting, like we start getting some numbers in the thousands of calculations. So this guy says it needs two and a half thousand basic computations to complete this research. And as we go down the tree, like this is what we want to solve for, right? We want to get, we want to, <laughs> we want to be able to exhaust the tech tree, right? And we've got some things here where it takes... Uh, 49,000 basic computations just to complete this and then 256 ultimate computations. So then I started thinking, okay, well, what are the materials that we're going to need to produce the mass produce? Like here's one with 98,000, 163,000. Anyway, what are the raw materials that we're going to need to automate and mass produce in order to move up this tech tree and produce these calculations really quick? So we see the basic calculations are really high. It looks like those are the, that's a, they're a part of every research item. From what I can see, we're always going to need the basic computations, right? So then I looked at, well, what's it going to take for us to maximize the basic computations? So I went over to my computer here. And I took a look at the recipes and I probably forgot to pick another recipe. Uh, let me go in here. Looks like we're getting our poke, by the way, is starting to replenish itself. So I went in here and I chose recipe and we've seen this before kind of early on, but basic computations, we have no, there's no ingredient. There's nothing we need to mass produce other than power, right? But when, because we need so many of these basic computations, the power plants that we're going to be producing those need to scale up pretty high and the number of computers we've got running these basic computations are going to have to scale up pretty high. Right. And so there's raw material to the computers. I don't know if there's a, uh, let's just take a look at the steel level. Are there up, up leveled computers that go faster or something? Let's just see. Uh, yeah, computer level three. So we'll be upgrading computers, but we're going to have a bunch of these set to do basic computations. So we'll be mass producing computers. So that's one thing, but there's really no inputs here. It's just power. So we'll be mass producing power and probably producing quite a few computers. Now, when we get to the advanced computations and the complex computations and the deep computations and then the quant uh, ultimate computations, we look back in the tech tree. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Or while, while we're here, let's just focus on this for a second. There is an input, 
for these ones, right? And it's these circuits. And so that's a material that we need to mass produce um, as part of our challenge here to solving the game or completing the game. And if you look right now, we're doing these basic circuits. That's the, the lowest level circuit. And that's the, the, you know, the, the earliest thing that we can do to actually get advanced computations. And we unlock those and we got a computer doing those. But if we want to optimize this, we probably want to produce these quantum processors and we're going to want to mass produce these if we can, because they give us the most, uh, they give us the most computations per item. I think that, I think that makes sense. Now, if they cost five times more than this guy, maybe it's not as worth it. I don't know. Like, I guess in addition to the cost, it's the time, right? We're getting 15 computations every 10 seconds versus here, we're only getting three. And we'd have to have five of these going to meet up with one of these. Anyway, my assumption is that we want to pursue quantum processors and mass produce them. And once we do, we can use those in our computers to produce the advanced computations, the complex ones, the quantum ones, and the ultimate ones. Now let's go back to the, and, and we need them. We have to have them for the ultimate computations, right? That's the only way we're going to get. Matter of fact, it's the only way. Yeah, it's the only way we're going to get ultimate. It's one of two ways that we'll get quantum. One of three ways we can get deep. But but this is obviously an end goal to see if we can produce these quantum processors. They're the most flexible, and we definitely have to have them when we get to ultimate computations. Let's take a look at the tech tree again. And I apologize for the babbling here. It's going to go on for another five, 10 minutes, maybe the whole episode, to be honest. So skip ahead if you don't want to hear it <laughs> to the next episode. But I kind of want to explain my thinking here. Uh, where we're going with this. So, yeah, we can see that when we get to the higher level computations, we don't need as many to run, even when we get up to the higher tiered research here, or where we've got 12,000 basic computations, we still only need 128 deep computations. And then where are the highest level ones? Yeah, for the highest level ones, we don't need that many. But we still need those um, those high level circuits to even do this research. A few fission reactor, and I'm not even sure how how much of this stuff works. By the time we get there, there may be patches in the game, and there may be even more tech items. But we can use those quantum processors for all this stuff anyway. So, what does that all mean about doing the quantum processors? Well, it means we're going to have to mass produce the ingredients for those things. So I started looking to see, is there anything in the steel tier where we're at now that is an input for those processors, right? Because that's something we might want to plan for now as we're building out our steel, our steel factory here. We'll scale, you know, we should be thinking about, hey, why don't we scale up production of those components that are going to go into the circuits, right? So I looked back in our construction menu here and I picked, where was it? Let's do, um, let's do quantum circuit, quantum circuit. Is that right? Yeah. There's the quantum circuit. Whoops. Let's, uh, I'm going to center click on this guy and then I'm going to actually go to this one. I think it was quantum processor, right? That's the one that everybody wants. Yeah, that's the one that's going to get us research. So if we feed that guy into a computer, we can produce all these different kinds of computations. And even at the highest level, we're only going to get three ultimate computations, so it's probably slow. So I looked at quantum processor trying to think of, is there steel products that we need to mass produce that are inputs into this? And I kind of walked these trees back. So, uh, Quantum processor takes a processor and a quantum circuit. Circuit takes an advanced circuit board and a quantum core. And I walked all these back and none of them require steel. <laughs> so some of them require uh, copper parts. 
Um, so we'll have to mass produce those. And then the rare earth elements, there's a, we have some long production chains ahead of us, by the way. Uh, I walked that, that chain back. There was nothing. The advanced circuit board is gold wire. So that doesn't have anything to do with steel and plastic didn't have anything to do with steel. That's all coal and ethylene. And we got to do ethylene. Let's see. But when we got, was it the catalyst? Let's see the catalyst. The catalyst was the first ingredient of those processors that we need for the computations. It was the first one that had something involving steel and it's this cell. So a cell plus gold wire plus some coal gets you the catalyst and you need that catalyst. Uh, where was it? I think you need the catalyst to produce, oh, is it just ethylene? So those are reusable. Those are reusable. But anyway, we need these cells and the cells to make those take stainless steel. So I tracked back the stainless steel stuff, stainless steel plates, stainless steel ingots, stainless steel dust. And we get stainless steel dust from iron dust combined with chrome dust gets a stainless steel dust or impure iron ore dust and chrome dust gets us still. So what gets us these things? The iron impure ore dust comes from the iron ore gravel. So this is before we make the iron ingots, right? So this is something that in our iron mine, we're going to need to mass produce and turn into basically uh, the stainless steel production chain. Not that, but here, where is it? Iron impure plus the chrome dust gets us the stainless steel dust. And that's, I think, our only path into stainless steel ingots, right? And then the stainless steel ingots are that whole path anyway. Anyway, so the bottom line of all that is I don't think we need to, at least not initially, scale up this factory to be super duper size. I think we can just start with, um, with the plates and be thinking that we're probably going to scale up more when we get to stainless. So what was that frame? Was that a frame? What was that thing called? here a cell I think these cells I think we're gonna use these we're definitely gonna use them to make the catalyst and then the catalyst plus the producer gas gets us ethylene but we get the catalyst back. So I guess those we don't need to mass produce. I could be wrong. Once we have the ethylene, that's going to be for the plastic. So we may not need to produce those. We need the plastic for the circuit board, the advanced circuit boards. And then the advanced circuit boards get us the quantum circuit. And then I mentioned the quantum core. I walked that back. Let's go back to the advanced circuit. The other half of the quantum processor is the regular processor. So we walked back the whole quantum circuit. No real steel there. There's some um, cells that we need to produce, but they're to build catalysts, but those catalysts are reusable. So that's not going to be consuming forever. Let's check this guy and see if there's anything that gets consumed forever from the quantum processor. So if we go to processor. We have silicon waver, wafers, and I think I chased that all the way back into like sand. So there's no steel or iron in that production line. That That is an ingredient there. So let's look at the advanced circuits. That's silicon. That comes back to sand. And then the circuit is copper wire. So we are going to have to mass produce that. Or the circuits and these circuit boards we're going to have to mass produce as well. And those take the planks anyway. So 
Again, bottom line is we don't need to scale up. At least I don't think we need to scale up our iron plate factory to be like this massive thing. I think we're probably going to be doing a little bit more with stainless steel. Um, yeah, we're going to chat it up this episode. I apologize. Let's look at the research tree one more time. I want to see... Uh, I want to see... Let's actually go to the computer. I want to see what the next tier calculations are going to require, right? So we're doing the advanced ones. So in order to get to the next level, complex calculations, we're going to need an advanced circuit. It could be that's the next thing we really need to focus on, right? Even before we get to the quantum processors, we may need to step our way through these. We've got the basic circuit being built. Maybe the next thing we need to produce, aside from exploiting our mines and ramping up power, I definitely want to get a power plant going to generate electricity. But maybe the next thing we focus on is that next level circuit or the first cert, the first ingredient we, we absolutely must have to get to this next tier of complex computations. That's the advanced circuit. Let's see what that takes. Silicon and regular circuits. We know how to do the regular circuits. We're already doing them. Let's see what silicon is going to require. So this is all the deconstructor. We're not interested in that. We're interested down here at the bottom. So we're going to need an electrolyzer to get silicon. And we can get those. It looks like that's the steel tier. So we'll be able to make those. But we need silicon oxide. Now that probably comes from sand. So we can get silicon oxide two ways. We can do it through a separator. And we've got the tech to do it. It looks like it's iron We can or steel. We can, we can do that with sand, so two to one, or a slightly more efficient process is using an industrial separator, but we don't have the ability to do that yet. That is the stainless steel line. Will get us that ability. And it's, let's see, it's, yeah, a little bit more efficient Uh, it's a lot more efficient power wise. If we look at that. So this is five times where you get six times as much product and it's only three times the power, but in the very near, oh, so geez. So this makes me think if we can get to stainless steel, <laughs> maybe once we get stainless steel going, maybe that's the next. Maybe that's the point that we pursue these circuits and producing the silicon oxide because this is such a more efficient process. So boy, yeah, I guess you can see how complicated the game can be. I guess we go after stainless steel. We'll get our steel stuff going. Then I guess we'll go after stainless steel. And then we'll go over the, go after the next tier of circuits and we'll use, hopefully we'll be able to build these industrial separators. Let's just take a look at the tech tree. So we're going to want, let's see if it's in here, stainless steel production that just gets us those. We're going to want um, to get those industrial separators. All right. That's enough talking. We'll get there. Let's pursue. <laughs> Let's. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Lots to do. Let's do what we said we we're going to do at the end of the next episode. Anyway, that was a bunch of background information. Hopefully some of that is insightful and useful to you. It is to me, and it's going to guide our path. The immediate things we want to do now is route this Coke that we've got here. Some of that initial Coke over this way to feed this blast furnace that is producing our ingots, right? 
It remains to be seen how many of these we're going to have, how many blast furnaces we're going to have doing ingots. It could just be one or two, and we get all this, the uh, products we can make out of iron plates done just with the one or two of these guys. But eventually, we're going to be doing more with stainless steel, but that doesn't involve blast furnaces, and it may not involve this coke that we're producing. A lot of this coke we're going to use for power generation. We know we're going to need tons of that. And I think we'll be living with uh, this coke-fueled power for quite a while. That's my guess. Oh, also, between episode, I did a, between episodes, I did a little bit of digging, and I extended this platform out just over the uh, iron deposit. So we have it ready. I'll do more digging between episodes. Let's get back up here. And what we need to do... Uh, we can leave this on second thought. Why don't we leave this here as is and just get some coke routed on a belt? Because we, we may not have many uh, many iron plate products that we're going to automate. So going in this direction is probably fine for now. We're not going to extend this out far. When we get to the stainless steel stuff and mass producing things, if we find that we need to, we'll expand out here to the east like I was talking about at the beginning of the episode. But for now, yeah, let's see. Let's grab the steel that we've got. Sorry, I'm jumping around this episode. I know it's a little, or a very uh, jumpy episode. Let me grab conveyors. Grab the fast ones. I'm just going to build a bunch of these. And then I guess we'll just route them... We could feed from underneath. We could run a belt above here. I'd like to kind of come, come in from underneath. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Let's uh, let's put the new belts on the hot bar. I don't know if we're going to use all these uh, copper ones. We may end up recycling those. Let's switch over to those. Did that work? Did not work. Boom. 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 That works. All right. I'm thinking of a belt there and then coming up underneath that guy, which is somewhere around here. We'll find it. Yeah. Coming up this way. that and that and then maybe whoops middle clicked I didn't want to do that hmm That's what I'm thinking. Let's get rid of the light here. Unfortunately, we'll have to move these. We can move it over one. Boom. 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 A little bit of dirt there I missed, looks like. Boom. And then we'll get rid of this guy. Boom. So yeah, I'm thinking running the belts this way. We're getting more built here. Do them like this. Just make sure that's... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Bring in the... Coke. Just on a belt like this. Eventually, maybe we'll combine all this stuff up. A little slow doing it this way. But I'm not sure if there's a faster way to do it. We'll make this look more realistic later. Maybe put some underneath it. Just take a look. Uh, let's. 
want to hop up top and just make sure these are all facing the right direction. I'm sure they are, but just to be sure, that looks right. And so for now, we just need to feed that Coke onto this belt. Boom. 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 I can't really drag. Ooh, is it letting me drag? Nice. Let's hop up top here. We may rework this. And boy, I apologize for all of that long dialogue at the beginning of the episode. But I wanted to convey just what I was thinking there. All right, let's get rid of these robotic arms and pop these ones on the toolbar instead as we switch over to steel. I still have some plates. Let's make some more of these. It said we may, we will likely rework this a little bit. Let's see, where am I crafting? I'm crafting arms. I need to get more belts. Not many more, but. So we'll just connect these up and then we'll get, we'll finish connecting that up. And then that blast furnace will have plenty of coke. I'm sure one belt is probably enough for that whole area, as long as we're just doing the coke there. I mean, the uh, blast furnace is there. If there's another thing we need with the stainless that requires um, coke, then we may need another belt, but I bet one belt is going to be fine for now. All right, we got our belts. Let's go ahead and connect that up. Boom. Nope. Thought we had our belts. I guess we don't. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Here they come. Oh, because I did five at a time, we're gonna it's not gonna let me do any until it builds the first five. All right, there we go. Finally got them. Sorry about that. Rotate, boom, and boom. And now we just need to get this guy configured right. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, we need to come up this way, right? Up one more. Is it gonna... That we need, but we need that too, I think. Or am I not lined up? I'm not lined up, of course. All right, we'll get it. Boom. Boom. And then... Let's reorient this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And then connect this guy. I think that's it on this part. Let's go connect it up on the other side and get rid of the uh, chest that we have over there. Boom. And then we can get rid of this. Let's see. Yeah, let's take this up. Boom. My inventory is full. I can right click here and maybe I can shove some of this in here. Some of the coke in there. All right, that allows me to get in the inventory. And now we just need one more little section of belt here so the robotic arm can pick it up. That's got a bunch of coke in it. And hopefully by the time it runs low or runs out, this Coke will already be ready to go. Not too bad. Look at all the stuff we got done. We ran one belt. <laughs> so yeah, again, I'm sorry for all that explanation up front, but I just wanted to share my kind of thinking and pondering on what the end game goals are and what we're working towards. And I think the uh, TLDR version of that is we definitely want to scale up the power. That's not going to go to waste. 
and we want to hold off on scaling up uh, automation of things that require the iron plates. We may not, there may not be much that we need to do to scale up on that. Maybe computers or something, I'm not sure, but we don't need it for the computations. And then the other things that we learned through that long, long, long dialogue are we want to pursue, or I think we want to pursue the next, uh, the next level circuit so we can start doing the, the next calculations. So that's this guy. Complex computations. Want to start working towards the advanced circuit. And then when we went through that process of kind of tracing back all the elements that are going to be required, it looked like we probably want to wait till we have stainless steel being produced so we can um, produce those circuits more efficiently, like a lot more efficiently power-wise than if we set out to do it with tech, the technology that we have now. So what that means is we're going to wait on those circuits until we get stainless. So stainless is the next priority. Stainless, the next priority. And then um, just before that, just before that, I want to get a power plant going, doing the steam power using the steel machines that we have available to us now. And with that, we're just about done. The last thing I want to do before I sign off here is pick a research and I'll probably do a little bit of digging between episodes so we can get this research going at least. Maybe we pick a big one. Oh, see, we can't even do stainless steel production without complex computations. What? That stinks. So what this means, <laughs> what this means is we have to use the less efficient process for making circuits in order to even unlock stainless steel production. And the stainless steel production is the thing that's going to unlock that more efficient method of generating these calculations. Wow. All right. A lot of thought went into this game to make it challenging for us, but we'll get through it. We will, we will, uh, we will overcome. So basically that just means we need to do at least a small production line or a small production run using the less efficient process for producing those second level circuits. Anyway, we'll get to it. It's not a big deal. Let's pick some research before we go. Let's pick advanced circuit. That's the one we're going to want to unlock next. Boom. All right. And with that, this is GliderCat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.